hello guys and welcome back in this video we will be adding this image to our window and we will make it move through our keyboard keys so for this session you need to have an image in the same folder where you have your python file so let's get started let me open my atom so here we have so let's start first of all you need to load the image on your <coughs> window for this we store the image into a variable and for this the command is pygame dot image dot load and then the name of the image here I have car one dot jpj okay so I have stored this image into this variable now I need to define a function car and the values given are x and y parameter sorry and this will be game displays dot blit so what this blit functionality does is uh, first let me write this code then I'll explain you guys ok so x comma y so what this split functionality it has is it <coughs> it puts it or it enters this image into the window here we have game displays here and with x and y coordinate we haven't specified the x and y coordinate so let's specify these coordinates first so here x we need to place the car at the center of the bottom so uh, we can write display width into uh, let's say 0 0.45 okay approximate to 0 0.5 which is half but the image is also having a width so let's assume it to be 0 0.45 then we have display height into 0 0.08 uh, sorry 0 0.8 okay so uh, see here uh, what I have done <laughs> so let's see if our image is blitted on our window or not let's just open the folder open powershell here and the name of my python file is uh, sorry python uh, one dot pi we have uh, okay the bracket here uh, here it is here it is yeah right so here we have uh, let's run that again and see if we are getting any error we are not getting anything actually so uh, let's see what the error might have occurred uh, oh yeah we haven't called this function yet we haven't called this function yet car so we need to call this function first car and we also need to specify the parameters that is x comma y 
so let's just save it and then uh, first let me close this one uh, sorry uh, I think under pi and here we have the car but it's not moving it's fixed so let's code it down to move the car okay so to move the car first of all we need to uh, specify a variable called x change so like we have this car here uh, this window here we need to move on the x axis okay so x change this change or this change or this change basically x change firstly it should be zero initial position right then in the event section if event dot type is equal to equal to pi game dot key down so what this key down uh, makes is uh, if we press the key okay so if we press the key if event dot key sorry key equal to equal to pi game dot k left which means that left arrow key then x change is equal to minus 5 ok you must be getting some idea right if not I'll explain you after I just write the code uh, in dot key equal to equal to <coughs> pi game dot uh, k r i g h t right then x change is equal to 5 ok this is for the key press what will happen if the key is up or we release the key so we define it here if event dot type equal to equal to pi game dot uh, it's caps lock uh, key up then we have if uh, event dot key equal to equal to pi game uh, dot k uh, left or sorry or event dot key equal to equal to pi game dot k right then the x change x change will be zero so let me explain this bit of code first so here we have if event dot type is equal to pi game key down here we have quit here we have key down which me which means that if we just press the key this if statement will run 
and if the key down or the key which we press is K left or left arrow key then the exchange will be minus 5 and if the key is right then the exchange will be 5 or positive 5 so now we need to change the value of x basically x plus is equal to x change uh, sorry x uh, change which basically says that x is equal to x plus x change okay so let's see if this works or not let me save this here we have a partial open and we are running this so uh, here we have and yeah the car is moving so we have added this car we have moved this car so in the next lecture we will be adding some restrictions right we can see here that car is moving and moving and it's gone moving and moving and moving and it's gone so we need to add some restrictions here like if we go here here and and you bumped okay so in the next lecture we'll do all this stuff so see you there